Nighthawk is AudioQuest's first presentation, I guess is the word to say, in the world of, of headphones. Now rather than being um, a Me Too or a copy product, Nighthawk is in every sense an AudioQuest product. So from its design, uh, the elements that are included and all of the parts, they're inspired um, by a passion for the product. Uh, Skylar, the designer, has been working and designing headphones for years, um, but has designed every element himself. Nothing, nothing, none of this is from a part spin. So, and Nighthawk has a number of, of quite unique elements. Uh, so I'll, I'll walk you through them, I think is the best thing to say. So the first thing you'll see uh, looking at them is that they have a, a slightly unusual headband, which uh, is for a couple of reasons. It, it doesn't clamp or compress your head particularly hard. Um, this band provides the um, enough rigidity to hold the, the head uh, the headpiece together and onto your onto your head and the suspension strap here is self-adjusting so it fits any head even a big one like mine very very easily so they're incredibly comfortable another critical part of that is the suspension elements uh, that are free floating now these have a couple of you know, really great uh, elements to them in the fact that they provide isolation between the two pods but also enable the ear cup to float and be sympathetic again to the head that it's sitting on to minimize that compression and clamping force because we feel a headphone should be endurable to wear for a long long period the next very striking part is the is the wooden finish if it, or maybe I should hold them up for you a little more. Um, we actually use a, a relatively new material called liquid wood, which is um, a wood and fibre and resin based product which can be injection moulded like plastics. So we can achieve these complex um, shapes. And this is actually modelled on the human ear. Um, in the same way that we could do with plastics, but the acoustic properties of uh, the liquid wood are far greater, far better to listen to than, than plastic. You may even say it's loudspeaker inspired to make like a cabinet for the speaker to sit in. Inside, we have actually a, a, a full range 50 millimeter pistonic driver. So it's a proper drive unit, not a piece of vacuum for formed mylar foil which has a, a crisp kind of sound. This is a proper driver which Skylar has designed. It's um, made out of a, a very unique material which is a, a biocellulose uh, which is uh, very rigid, very light uh, and has great self damping properties. So when it is driven hard it doesn't break up and when it does start to, to start to break up it um, damps itself so its uh, measured performance is incredibly um, linear non-fatiguing it's, it's 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 a great sounding driver the um, driving is actually angled inside the baffle of the speaker if you like and the ear pads are profiled to do the same thing so the headphones sit more like a placement of a loudspeaker. So again, that loudspeaker inspiration shows through. Um, and the final part I suppose I should talk about is the, is the grill here, which when shown that way, looks like a, an old fashioned microphone held on its shock mounts. And it's inspired the design a little bit, but this part here, this, this vent, is a critical part of the voicing of the, of the loudspeaker, of the drive unit. It, helps to control and regulate the airflow away from the driver. Uh, this shape is, is known as a diamond cubic lattice and we can only make this using 3D printing because of its complex structure actually inspired by butterfly wings. So when you look at some cells from butterflies that don't have any colour in them they're made up of a, this kind of shape because it reflects and refracts light uh, and it was the inspiration for how we should, we should guide and handle the sound waves. So they look like a, a headphone, but they are a different approach. And we encourage anyone to take a listen uh, and, and enjoy them and find out how they get on.
Thank you. Thank you.